Hey everyone, Hawthorne Sagebrush here, and welcome to week 11 of the YouTube Pagan Challenge. I will finally be up, like, caught up if I get this video finished, uh, and uploaded. And then I'd have to, you know, do next week's video as well. But I might film it so you might see next week's video with the same shirt. Uh, cause I might film it straight after this, and then like post date it. I'm not sure though, so no guarantees yet. But anyway, so this week's question is what does the sun mean to you? Now for me, I work a shit ton more with the sun than I do with the moon. And this is not necessarily because I work with so many gods or I only work with gods or something because Bridget is a goddess of the sun in some aspects. But I work a shit ton with Lou, and he is very intently connected to the sun, I find. Um, and also, um, because I work with the Sabbaths, I work with the eight sun festivals, essentially. Well, there's like, you know, solstices, equinoxes, and the fire festivals. These are all sun-oriented, really. So, that's kind of what I do. Um, I work a lot with the sun. And so, and I really notice it too because I live in Canada and at Yule, it's dark as shit. Like it is dark at 5 p.m. and it doesn't lighten up till like 9, 10 a.m. We get like six or seven hours of daylight during that time. It's just like there's no light for the longest time. So I really feel the lack of sun and a lot of people in Canada have seasonal affective disorder like they get some serious seasonal depression because there's just no sun and I notice that again because I work in mental health so I really feel that the sun is very connected to us as a people as a as a uh, species I guess um, a lot of people towards the equator tend to be a bit more happy I find um, or at least they seem to be I've never been to the equator can't say they have I think the furthest south I've been is like New York, which is not very south because they still get cold winters, but it was very hot there. I went there once and it was like, I don't know what it was in Celsius because I because they never told us what it was in Celsius, but it was like 110 Fahrenheit. Don't know what that means. Maybe I'll look it up. I don't know what 110 Fahrenheit is in Celsius. Someone in the comments, tell me. Uh, but yeah, so during the winter, it's freezing cold and there's no sun. Then during the summer and the spring, there's lots of sun and there's lots of warmth. Like it gets up to 32, 34, sometimes 36 degrees uh, in July and August here in Canada. Uh, 32 is kind of like an average, I guess, for a summer. It's like a normal summer day, like a normal to hot summer day. Not a big fan of anything above 32, to be quite honest. My favorite temperature is probably about 20 degrees Celsius. About 20 to 25 is my preferred kind of thing. But like even now it is just like nearly mid-June and it is like, what is it, like 9 p.m.? Yeah, it's 8.30 and there's still light out. Look at this. Look at this. There's still light outside. Do you see that? Do you see that nonsense? And by nonsense I mean because I can actually go over a walk late at night and I love it. Because I like night walks. They make me happy. But, yeah, just the sun is very connected to a lot of things in our lives. It's energy. It gives the planet warmth. It gives the planet energy. It gives plants energy. And I get my energy from plants because I'm a vegan. So, the sun really has a lot to do with my life. But also, I dislike the sun in many ways because I am a very, very, very pale person. If you couldn't tell. I don't tan. I burn. Or not even burn. Like my tans are red. Like it's not a burn. I'm just red. I just I go from white to red to white again. There's no in between. There is no tanning for me. Actually this is kind of like a tan for me. Like because you see like this is my whiteness. Slight tan. Ooh, how lovely. White. Slight tan. So, <laughs> the sun really does have a big effect on my daily life, and especially since I wear glasses 
and I can't afford to have prescription lenses in sunglasses, the sun kind of just like attacks my eyes on a daily basis. So during the peak of sun, I like to stay inside for my skin and eyes. Uh, preferably, thanks. But magically, I work a lot with the sun because of the Sabbaths, and I love planning rituals for the Sabbaths. And my favorite ones to plan usually revolve around Bridget and Lou. And guess what? They are sun deities. <laughs> like Litha is when Lou dies. Lunasa is his wake. In bulk, Bridget. And guess what? Fire. <laughs> Astara. Bridget. And guess what? Equinox. That's like... I work so much with Bridget and Lou. In Beltane we work with Bridget and Lou. <laughs> we work so much with them. Uh, Morgan, the Morrigan and Kernos is more like a Samhain to... Samhain to an Yule sort of thing. We work with the more darker energies a little bit at Samhain and, and Yule. So, who do we work with at Yule? We worked with Bridget and the Dagda, but mostly the Dagda. And he turned out to be, he, <laughs> he appeared in the trance as Santa Claus. Because he was feeling a bit sassy. He was feeling a little sassy, but that's okay. It happens. But, yeah, that, a lot of that happens in our community. A lot of weird, like, god sass <laughs> happens. Lou wanted to pull out a magic bullet to grind up seeds once. It was like, can you not? <laughs> anyway, I'm way off topic. The sun, it's great, except at peak hours during the summer when I get burned and it hurts my eyes. And magically, I love the sun. Magically, I also love the moon. I just find it very difficult to work with the moon because I'm usually asleep. I used to be working. So, like, pretty much any time that I have to work with the moon, there's just, I can't because I have to be in bed at 9.30 at night and up at 6.30 a.m. for, well, up at 5.30 a.m. to go to work for 6.30. So, yeah. Just kind of timing has never worked with the moon, it seems. Moon is very picky about her timing. But anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. How do you guys work with the sun? Let me know in the comments below. Blessed be.